Getting down and dirty with Yamaha's full line of XTR side-by-sides. It's not every day that we get the opportunity to sample a manufacturer's entire lineup at the same time. And although a track day sure is fun, a day in the dirt is what really gets the blood pumping. When the kind folks at Yamaha reached out and said they would be bringing the company's full line of XTR vehicles to Gunsight Academy in the desert of northern Arizona, we quickly accepted the invitation and loaded up our gear. Gunsight Academy is located on thousands of acres of amazing Arizona desert, and graciously opened a large swath of their property for Yamaha to create a test course that featured a bit of everything, including steep, loose hill climbs, tight forest trails, wide open sand washes, fast two-track trails, and wide gravel roads. Yamaha's XTR lineup for 2022, and now 2023, includes the Grizzly ATV along with the Wolverine, RMAX 1000, and YXZ side-by-sides. Adding to the fun, Yamaha brought out the two- and four-seat versions of the Wolverine and RMAX 1000. All of the Yamaha XTR models come with a worn winch installed from the factory, along with unique paint, graphics, and wheel and tire packages. The Wolverine X2 XTR starts at just $16,499, and the Wolverine RMAX 4 1000 XTR tops out at $29,199. Yamaha Wolverine X2850 XTR Yamaha's entry-level recreational side-by-side -side is the Wolverine X2850. The Wolverine X2 is powered by an 847 cubic centimeters parallel twin engine, which is paired with an Ultramatic CDT transmission. Anything but basic, this UTV also features locking differentials and KYB piggyback shocks. Front wheel travel checks in at 8.7 inches, and the rear features 9.3 inches. Opting for the XTR package adds 27-inch GBC Dirt Commander radial tires, a heavy-duty worn VRX45 recovery winch, a rearview mirror, and stylish paint and graphics package. Jumping behind the wheel of the Wolverine X2 brought back some serious Rhino vibes. Compared to the high-tech, high-power, extra-large side-by-sides offered today, the diminutive stature and relative simplicity of the Wolverine X2 made it an absolute joy to drive. Sure, it's not keen on jumping large tabletops or blasting through deep whoops, but when dropped onto the trails that most Americans have access to, the Wolverine holds its own. Tightwood's maneuverability was fabulous and loose hill climbs were dispatched with ease. All told, the Wolverine X2 was simply pure joy. We found ourselves laughing the whole time and ended with an enormous grin. Yamaha Wolverine X4850 XTR In an interesting twist, there are very few differences between the Yamaha Wolverine X2 and X4 models. Aside from an extra pair of seats where the tilting utility bed used to reside, and the tiny doors used to access them, they are the same vehicle. The Wolverine X4 produced the same giggles as the X2, but we did notice a slight degradation in handling due to the added mass of the rear seats and larger roll cage structure. Ultimately, the two vehicles are so similar that the buying decision between the X2 and X4 rests on which is needed more, two extra seats or a tilting bed. Yamaha RMA X2 1000 XTR We've done a fair bit of riding with the new Yamaha RMAX 1000 lineup since its introduction for the 2021 model year. We've blasted around San Hollow, traversed the legendary Rubicon Trail, ventured high into the mountains of Colorado, and ridden the back way up to the Crown King Mine in Arizona, and every time we come away with just as big of a smile on our face. We've sampled the R-Spec, Sport, and Limited Edition models, and now finish out the lineup by getting behind the wheel of the Yamaha RMAX 1000 XTR, setting the XTR apart from the rest of the lineup is the addition of a factory-installed worn VRX 45 winch, 14-inch aluminum beadlock wheels, 30-inch Maxxis carnivore tires, a multi-piece front bumper, and a unique paint and graphics package. Motivated by a powerful 999 cubic centimeters parallel twin engine and equipped with Yamaha's impressive Demo Drive Mode selector, the RMAX 1000 is a blast to drive. The vehicle accelerates quickly and, depending on the D-mode selected, provides precise throttle control for every situation. 
Paired with Fox QS3 dampers and impressive wheel travel numbers of 14.2 inches in front and 16.9 inches in the rear, the RMAX1000 can handle just about any terrain type with relative comfort and ease. This side-by-side -side is just as much fun navigating tight and twisty forest trails as it is crawling over rocks or blasting through the desert. Having logged the most miles, collectively, in the RMAX2-1000, we can confidently say that for most people, this is the Yamaha UTV to own. Yamaha RMAX4-1000 XTR Similar to the Wolverine X4, not much changes when you jump to the RMAX4-1000. The four-seat RMAX is fitted with the same drivetrain, same XDR package content, and same Fox QS3 dampers. What does change is the wheelbase, which is stretched modestly from 86.7 inches to 90.2 inches. Wheel travel also decreases significantly in the rear, from 16.9 inches to 13.3. The biggest changes we noticed because of this were more of a propensity for bottoming out the suspension in the rear when driven hard, and only the slightest decrease in maneuverability when it comes to tight, full lock turning. Aside from those small quibbles, we do thoroughly enjoy the Yamaha RMAX4-1000, just as much as its smaller counterpart. Which to choose really comes down to whether there's a need for two or four seatbelts. Yamaha YXE-1000 R times T-R. We'd be lying if we didn't say that the vehicle we were most looking forward to driving was the pure sport Yamaha YXE 1000R. Introduced for the 2016 model year, the Yamaha YXE is still the only side-by-side -side to come equipped with a manual transmission and standard pedal-activated clutch. For 2017, Yamaha added the sports shift system with paddle shifters, making it the first UTV with such a feature. The Yamaha YXC is powered by a naturally aspirated 998 cubic centimeters inline three-cylinder engine and comes fitted with Fox 2.5-inch Podium RC2 dampers. Wheel travel checks in at a modest 16.2 inches in the front with 17.0 inches in the rear. Tires on the XTR model are a staggered 29-inch Maxxis Carnage setup, with 9-inch wide fronts and 11-inch wide rears. Also included with the XTR package are 14-inch aluminum beadlock wheels with color-matched locking rings, a worn VRX45 winch, high-quality painted bodywork, contrast stitching on the seats, a center-mounted rearview mirror, and auxiliary lighting. Sliding into the cockpit, we were greeted by the low and sporty seating position of the YXC, unique to the XTR lineup. While a full manual transmission is still offered in the YXC, the XTR model comes only with Yamaha Sport Shift 5-speed sequential gearbox, which is operated by a pair of steering wheel-mounted paddles. From the moment we clicked the machine into first gear and ripped off down the trail, our heart rate spiked. The YXC 1000R is pure enjoyment. The vehicle's suspension soaked up the biggest bumps our test course had to offer while upshifting at 10,000 RPM really got the blood pumping. We jumped the YXZ down ledges, ripped through sand washes, and quickly mastered the art of sliding this impressive machine through long, sweeping turns. Unlike the Wolverine and RMAX, the YXZ wasn't super happy navigating tight turns in the trees, thanks to its wider suspension, and loose hill climbs were less graceful, thanks to putting more power to the ground. All around, however, the Yamaha YXZ 1000 or times t r was the most fun to drive, and that's really saying something. Thanks for watching. Drop a like. Leave a comment. And don't forget to subscribe to watch more videos like this.